Happy Sunday, everyone. Hope you're having a fantastic day and staying safe with your family. Today, what we have for you is a brand new episode of I Rate Your Team. For cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. We start off with my team, which is something I don't really do a whole lot these days, uh, but I thought I'd do it anyway. I just, I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit lost this year. With with FIFA in from time to time, I get I, I hit these brick walls where I don't know personally what else to do. I've played three games today, and all three of them I can't hold more than forty percent possession. I know it might just be the people I'm playing against, but I just thought if any of you guys that are really good FIFA players, because I know a lot of you guys watch these that are incredible FIFA players, could help me out. Someone who's not as good as FIFA, um, you could help me out with sort of what formation and how to play to counteract a possession style play. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm winning games. I'm beating these people, but I don't find it fun to touch the ball once every five minutes for about half a minute before I get pressured off the ball. Um, it's it's super frustrating, and I don't like winning 1-0, 2-0 victories just because my opponents won't attack me. If you guys relate, then let me know down in the comments down below, and if you guys have any help, please let me know. Let's get into your team. We're starting off with Mahmood, who says, Hi, hey, but this is the team I want to build. I nearly have enough coins, and I'm open to improvements. Thanks. Okay, let's check it out. Well, that may own a card, in my opinion. I checked that card out, and I actually like the look of it a lot. I think it's a decent-looking card, uh, and I think that 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 could be a good shout for you. Um, I personally don't like that that Urzel card. Just my personal preference. I'm not a big fan of it. However, obviously, given that you only just about have enough coins for this team, I think you don't have a whole lot of amazing options to work with. You could go down a German right side, though. I know Inform Mar is about 50k, 45, 50k. You could go down a German right side instead. You could get yourself like a Nabry and go with a, um, a, a better right back. Uh, you know, a German right back that would link with Kara. That could also work uh, if you wanted to go down that route. Um, in terms of options that you have, like I said, Nabry is a good option. I'm not entirely sure how much Nabry is these days, but I know he's had a couple of special cards. Uh, so I guess we could have a quick look. I know there was a Bellarabi objective, but I feel like you probably didn't do it. Um, if you did do it, obviously go down the Bellarabi route. Uh, however, I would guess that you didn't do it. If you're playing a different formation in game, for example, you're playing a 4-2-3-1, something you could go for, which wouldn't be a bad shout, would be this Kai Havertz card. Uh, this card, as you bring it into a, a cam roll, would actually play pretty well um, in terms of a really good uh, uh, you know, right or left cam or even a central cam. Uh, you have Serge Nabry's Inform, who's around the same price uh, as that 87 Mares. That's a good shout. Uh, but I think that... You could use a better right back than standard Atal and get yourself a better right mid than, than Mares there uh, and keep Urzel on the exact same chemistry that he was on. The rest of the team, I wouldn't really change anything, to be honest. Uh, you know, you've got that DRB card. Or you, so you're going to get that DRB card. How much is he? Uh, I'm just wondering if you can go with a better shout at left mid. Uh, he's only about 30k. He's pretty good for the for the price as well. You know, he's got pretty decent stats for only being a 30,000 coin card. There are other shouts you can go with there, but to be honest, like... They're all very similar. One thing I would say is get yourself that Regulion card over at left back. In fact, what you could do is um, you could go... Ooh, now this is where things get a little bit hairy, I think. You could go with Ramos over Varane and get yourself Regulion at left back to get full chemistry. Or you could play Varane off chemistry and get yourself Regulion at left back as well. Um, they both wouldn't be a bad shout either. I think that... For this card being a free card, only a um, a time invested card as an objective card, it is phenomenal value. Uh, this is a phenomenal left back card. Incredible stats in my opinion for a left back. And the fact that yeah, you just are just giving this away in an objective, I think is fantastic. So yeah, that's what I would recommend. Uh, the next one coming from Voka, who says, Hi, the second picture is what I play in game and I only have 100,000 coins. All these players are untradeable. What do you think about my team? Any suggestions for the team? Love your videos, mate, from Indonesia. Keep up the great work. Oof, let's have a look. Okay, I like that team a lot. I like this an awful lot. I think this is a fantastic team. Obviously, I'm guessing you're playing Trent over at right back with Ramos at centre back uh, and probably Fuchs at centre back as well with uh, Alonso left back. This team is solid. One thing I do want to start with the series, guys, uh, and you guys can obviously um, agree or disagree with this. Uh, for teams like this, who I feel like you're not really asking my opinion, you just kind of want to show off, show off your team, uh, what you can start doing is just tweet me saying rate my team on a scale of 1 to 10. And I'll literally just rate your team with a rating. And we won't give you, like, suggestions or anything like that. I'll literally just, like, you know, for this team, for example. This team, I give a solid 8.5 out of 10. I think it's a fantastic team. I think that you could definitely improve your right wing spot. Um, and I think that, obviously, over time, you can improve uh, Ben Shredder and uh, Bakayoko. But apart from that, it's a fantastic 
fantastic team. So I'll give it probably an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, we can do that from now on if you want. Um, for those of you that want me to literally just check out your team, because I know there's a lot of people in the comments that are not as happy with me recommending upgrades, because sometimes the upgrades are downgrades, but it's just for the idea of trying out a different card. So I just want to make you guys happy. Um, so that could be a decent shout. We've got Aimbot Yoda who gets in these all the time. I don't know how he manages to get in the episode every week, but he, he, he somehow does. Anyway... Uh, and no, for those wondering, I actually saw a comment. This is not my second account, all right? I don't own this account. This this account doesn't even follow me, all right? This is, he just manages to get in there all the time. Um, he says, I've got around 500k to spend and everyone is untradeable except Theo Hernandez and I play Phillips. Uh, sorry, and Phillips. I play a 4 one 2 one 2 in game and I'm looking to get either Team 1 or Team 2, which is the best. Let's check it out. Ooh, wow. Wow, okay. Wow, okay. Um, Wow. I know I just said wow a whole lot. This is the best team. This right here is the best team, 100%. Regulion and that Diego Carlos card both look incredible. Diego Carlos card looks absolutely insane as a centre-back. Um, he looks like a phenomenal centre-back. 90 pace and 91 defending. Ninth. For only 775k, I can see this card going to 500k this week. If not, maybe less. That card's going to be around the same price as the team of the tournament Eder Militao was for a long time. Or was it team of the tournament or road to the final? It might be Road to the Final. Edem Militao. It's going to go to a similar price to that card. And this card has got super juice stats. Like, what would I put on this card? Maybe like a Shadow? To just get Max almost in pace and defending? Or or an Anchor? Probably an Anchor. Uh, either way, ridiculous card. Really, really nice stats. Yeah, I would say this team is the best, mate. That is a phenomenal team as well. I like that a lot. Um, next one comes from Kyan. Or, or Kian. Kyan, I, I think it's actually Kian, to be honest. I think I'm just stupid. Um, he says, hi, hey, but this is my team and how I play in game and my reserves. Everyone except for Dembele, Simon, and Suzuka are untradeable. I'm looking to get overmarched from Micron Swaps and have about 200,000 coins. I'm open at two suggestions. Let's check it out. Okay. Hmm, so you're playing this and this is your bench. Let me have a quick look at that again. Rightio. Um, okay, so... This is a nice team. Now, you haven't got the most coins in the world. You've got 200,000 coins. So, realistically, I don't think, unless for some reason EA bring out some amazing objective French right wing, that there's going to be realistically anything you can upgrade to instantly. I think Overmars is a good shout. What I would say is start saving up for new players. I think it's phenomenal you've got a 99 VBD in the team. That's incredible. The card is nuts. Um, I would say start saving up and maybe try and save towards a foot birthday Di Maria. Now, that's going to take a little while because he's quite expensive. Let me tell you that for free. He's um he's a pretty penny. But I would say if you're going to go and save up for a right wing card, you need about 400k. Um, You know, obviously throughout the week, you do upgrades and things like that. Who knows? You might pack yourself a team this season messy, but it's very, very unlikely. Given you've got 99 rear VVD already, it might happen. Uh, But I would say, uh, yeah, save up towards that right wing spot. Foot Birthday Di Maria is a fantastic shout. He's five star, five star with a phenomenal looking card. Uh, I would say just sort of save up and, and and wait until you have enough coins to either buy him or you get lucky and upgrade him regardless. Uh, for the rest of this team, Moses Simon is a, phenom a phenomenal looking card. You have a great defense. I see you have 85 Joe Gomez on the bench. I'm wondering if it would be more worth it to play um, Joe Gomez instead of Zambrotta. But I mean, and then just play for Mendy off chem. That's, that's, I'm just putting my two cents in there. Uh, obviously, if, if, if that's not the case and you prefer, uh, let me just double check it's not alone. It is not alone. Uh, obviously, um, uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Um, if you're wondering, for the visually impaired, there is a, uh, very uh, interesting set of three players. Uh, yeah, I would say um, for this team, yeah, maybe, maybe just work on that right wing. You know, I don't want to help you anymore, Kian. Go away. Uh, um, next is Moans, who says, Every, everyone except for Walker is untradeable, and I don't know what to do about my defense. I play a 4-4-2 or a 4-2-3-1, depending on the game. Gotcha. Untradeable at Bamiyang. Untradeable R9. This is phenomenal pack look. Congratulations. Um, all right. I would say, in terms of your back line... Wait, you, saying, is, you said you don't know what to do about your back line, right? Don't know what to do about my defense. I like the defense, though. That's the thing. I actually think it's a, it's a good defense. Um, again, one thing you could do is go with that Regulion. You don't need the link to Neymar at left side. One thing you could do is you can go uh, over on the right center back spot. You could put Soyuncu if you're looking to drop Laporte. This is, I'm going off the assumption you're looking to drop Laporte. Um, I'd say right center back, go with Soyuncu. And maybe go Ricardo Pereira at right back. Then le left back, you can go with uh, the man himself, um, uh, Regulion, his his new card. Uh, then at left centre back, you can go with 
any sort of Spanish player you want there. It, it, they're going to get eight chemistry. You're not going to get full chem, unfortunately. But with the Leviashin link, you're going to get eight chemistry. So you could go for the likes of, who knows, a... Um, I mean, you could go with Diego Carlos, to be honest, but he's going to be quite expensive. Um, I doubt you've got a huge amount of coins. There's a, there's a few decent Spanish uh, centre-back options that you can go with, though. It's a shame he didn't do that as Pilaqueta, but then again, hindsight, you know... It happens. Um, one thing I would say is Sergio Ramos has got a couple of decent cards that are pretty cheap. I'm not entirely sure how much Tops PK is. He's 260k. It's quite expensive, but if you can save towards it, it's not the worst shout in the world. It would be a phenomenal looking card. A lot of people say, oh, agility imbalance, agility imbalance. I'll be honest with you. I haven't really struggled with agility imbalance on centre-backs this year. I, I really did enjoy Cannavaro, but that's not to say that any centre-back without agility imbalance plays well. Uh, screen PK was phenomenal at the start of the game. Um, that Tots Maguire, I've heard amazing things about him as well, and I will be completing that this week. So that might be a good shout. But yeah, apart from that, the rest of the team is, is really solid. Um, obviously over time, maybe you work to upgrade that, uh, the CDM to, you can maybe go down Salmo there, who's a better option there or, or team of the season, Fernandini or someone that would get, uh, Aubameyang on chemistry. Um, but yeah, I would say, I'd say for now, go grind that Regulion card and, and try and save some coins to get yourself a better left center back than Laporte. You maybe go with a, a, a Ramos or you go with whoever you really want, really. But I think Ramos or, or, or Tots PK would be a decent shout. Um, the next one coming from a foot trader. Who says, I love the vids, bro. I've got 750k. Henderson is the only tradable. Any improvements appreciated. Oh, good good red look in there in, in, in Vardy. Uh, one thing I also want to quickly address, just, just for one second. Um, when I say that someone's got a phenomenal look, I, I'm not saying that in comparison to myself. I know that I've had insane pack look. All right? I, I know that, and I appreciate it from EA. Uh, I'm simply just stating that someone else has a good pack look. Uh, I, you know, it's not... I'm not trying to compare myself to them or anything like that. I just thought I'd say that because I don't want to ever make anyone think that I'm being ungrateful because I'm not. I, I'm sorry that you can hear people going up and down the country road outside my house. For some reason, they think it's okay to speed down there. It's not. And I'm sorry about that. So in terms of this team, uh, I think that you've, you've got some really, really nice cards on tradable here. Uh, you're playing a 4-4-2. Apologies for the blurry image. Um... Vardy at right mid. Interesting. I keep getting told to play team of the season De Bruyne at right mid. I don't get this game on a level that you guys get this game then. I really don't. Like, like I do not understand the game at a level that other people do because I would have thought playing someone like Vardy at right mid would be terrible, but apparently not. I don't get it. I just don't understand the game. Um, With this team, I mean, realistically, for 750k, I wouldn't really upgrade anyone. Uh, I think you've got a phenomenal team. Um, the only, the only thing I could possibly ever see you doing is maybe, maybe changing out Rooney for somebody, but that's the only thing I could see you doing. And I wouldn't recommend doing it for a while because he's still, in my opinion, the best option there that you can go with for a long time until we get sort of footies and stuff. We didn't really get an abundance of center mids from team of the season. I mean, you could go with Kovacic if you really wanted to, but I think that'd be a downgrade personally. Well, I mean, actually would it? It wouldn't be a downgrade, but I don't think it's necessarily a massive upgrade for 200,000 coins of, you, of, of your liquid coins gone when I'm guessing you're a trader. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. If you want to go with, with a Kovacic, that might be a decent shout. He'll be a really good centre mid, but I don't think it's worth the 200 plus thousand coins liquid uh, just to upgrade him by, in my opinion, a, a small margin. Uh, the next one coming from Frankie. He says, Dalglish, Hazard and De Jong, Best, Robertson and Testegen are all tradable. I've got 400,000 coins and I play a 4-4-2 in game with Dalglish and Son up top. The rest of it is self-explanatory. Keep up the good work, Donny. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, dude. Um, Rightio. You're playing, hang on, let me double check. You're playing a 4-4-2 in game. Okay, that's pretty, that is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I like this team a lot. I'll be honest with you. I'm giving this team a 9 out of 10. Uh, the only, I'm giving it a 9.5 out of 10. The only places that need improvement, in my opinion, is Team of the Season Casemiro for a better team of the season up there. Uh, obviously, you've got Team of the Season De Jong, who's a phenomenal player. Um, I think that you could go with maybe Team of the Season Cruz, who I think would be a better option than Team of the Season Casemiro. Casemiro is way better defensively, but I think Cruz is better with, with being on the ball. Uh, he's faster, and I think he's uh, a little bit more physical, if I'm not mistaken, but he might not be. But, and he's got the five-star weak foot as well, which is great for passing and stuff. Uh, so I think that you could improve that Casemiro. I also think that a right mid... Whilst George Best is actually a really good card, I think that you could do better. And I think you could get a, de a better option over there at right mid. Um, now, you're playing him actually at right mid in game. A card, uh, in my opinion, and this obviously is coming from my experience uh, as, uh, you know, in FIFA. And it could be, you know, a very poor experience. Uh, I don't think four-star skills is that necessary for right mid. But then again, that could be why I don't get elite. 
you know? Um, and again, another, another obnoxious car. I'm sorry. I need to ch shut my window when I'm recording this. I think that this card at right mid would be phenomenal, though. 92 pace, 93 dribbling, 94 shooting, and 86 physical with 86 passing as well. I think that this card, maybe you want to put either a, a, a powerhouse. Maybe you want to put... Um, an engine on him, and it would make him a 94 rated right mid in game, I think could be a decent shout over George Best. But that's nitpicking. I think that George Best is a phenomenal card this year, and that is simply just me making an upgrade for the sake of wanting to change this team a little bit. But that's just, you know, that's how I am. And I apologize if you don't like it. Um, but yeah, the teammate, 9.5 out of 10. Nine, easy 9.5 out of 10. Uh, next one coming from Ruben. He says, I've got 50,000 coins and I'm willing to save up. Everyone except for Vardy and Aguero are untradeable. And for Icon Swaps, I tried to get Puyo, but somehow chose Lampard. I hate my life. Keep up the good work. Keep up with the banging vids. Right. How you did that, I don't know. But fair enough. Uh, I like the team. I like the implementation of uh, Regulion into the team as well. I think that's pretty cool. Um... Interesting. One thing that you could go with here, you've got, is that, uh, who is that on the bench? No, it's not the guy I'm thinking of. I thought the English guy was still in objectives, but he's not. Huh. I mean, it's a shame that I didn't see this team last week because I would have said to get uh, Ivan Tony up top. Um, wait, is Ivan Tony the objective or is he tradable? Or was he the SBC? He's an objective. Yeah, I would have said to get this card up top. Um, unfortunately, I didn't see this team last week, though. Um, I would say just try and work on upgrading your strike force to team of the season players. And then next upgrade is definitely Lampard, to be honest. Uh, but the rest of the team is solid. Lampard obviously keeping this, get this team together on, on, with the 10 chemistry. But yeah, I would say upgrade your strike force and then go for upgrading, uh, uh, Lampard and then probably Rooney straight after that. Um, but I wouldn't do that until you have enough coins to upgrade both of them because there's no point playing a weaker squad just to upgrade one player, in my opinion. I would wait until you have the coins to upgrade both of them. Uh, there's Kean's again. Uh, the next one from Joshua who says, Hi, how are you? Uh, I have 100,000 coins. The tradables are Messi, Neymar, Mbappe, Kante, and VVD, and I play a 4 2 3 1 in game. Uh, Neymar striker, Messi cam, Mbappe Lam, Silver Ram, bench and reserves are untradeable and suggest what I could do and work towards usually get gold two or gold three. Fair play. Rightio. Okay. Uh, I like the team a lot, to be honest. I'll, um, I'm going to level with you. I don't think you change this team until next weekend after rewards. You wait for rewards this week. If you can hit gold two, that's huge. You get yourself a couple of Liga Tots. You might get incredibly lucky and get yourself someone that would massively improve the squad but until you either hit a phenomenal red or you either you know get a, a sick pack pull or something i wouldn't really change the squad this squad in my opinion is a very uh complex in terms of, of the chemistry and stuff for example you change bakioko and it inputs the entire attack off chemistry and kante uh so I, apart from name i don't put name off cam uh so i think that Maybe wait until you, you get something that's that's going to be worth selling Mbappe and Neymar and, and, and benching Bakayoko to bring new people into the squad. For example, you might get incredibly lucky and get yourself a, a red Benzema, for example. And that would, you know, and then you can get rid of Bakayoko and Neymar and bring in red Benzema and, and, and work out the squad from there. So I would say wait for rewards and see what you get um, and then try and change a team based on that. Uh, the next one, okay, I'll be honest with you, that is so pixelated. I genuinely can't see it. Uh, the next one coming from Daniel. Hi, hey, but the trader was our summer in Wambasaka. I've got 15,000 coins. Uh, got Allison from the guaranteed PL pack, and I'm getting Maldini from Swaps. Love the vids. Hey, thanks, bro. I appreciate it, man. Uh, let's check it out. Okay, interesting. I mean, I think it's a good setup. And then in game, you guys can't really see, but he's playing a 4 2 with Wambasaka right back, Zuccario right center back, and then obviously you can see the rest of the team uh, with Summer in goal, obviously, and, and Hierro at left center back. You probably would have guessed it anyway, but there you go. Um, what would I say with this? Interesting. Um, hmm. I would say work towards your attack. First, I think Jimenez and Neozi Perez, whilst they're pretty good cards, I would say if you work on that attack first, then you're going to be in a good spot. One thing you could do, this is going to change the team massively, in my opinion. Start Fred at right centre mid and start Jimenez at striker. Now, Jimenez will start on, on, on off chemistry and then you swap Zakaria and you swap Hierro. 
So obviously Sakari is staying on eight chemistry and Jimenez is going to start on eight chemistry as well, but whilst Fred and Juan Bissaka are going to be on full chem. And then over at left back, you could go with the new Regulion card on eight chemistry. Um, that would be a big upgrade to Alexandro in my opinion, because he gets a strong link with uh, he gets strong up with Hierro. Now you could also go start a 4-3-3-3 with the two CDMs and then obviously you're playing uh, how you are now just with the two CDMs and a centre mid and actually Regulian will be on full chemistry um, and the only player on eight chemistry would be Jimenez. That might be a good shout as well. Um, either way, I think that's what that would be a really good uh, uh, change to the team to start 4-3-3-3, get Reguli on left back, um, and then you, you've got a phenomenal left back that links with the left centre back with a strong link, uh, and you've you've upgraded Alexandre massively. Uh, but the rest of the team, I think, solid. I would say start saving up and, and just upgrade players. For example, I'd say Jimenez and Ayose Perez are definitely the upgrades next, um, and then you go from there. Uh, oh, wait, no, Zakaria's on full cam because he's got the, the hyperlink. My bad. Face palm. I forgot he has the hyperlink, so he is on full chemistry, no matter where he plays. Yeah, so so swap so start a 4 3 3 3. Swap, swap Hierro and Zakaria. Get Reguli on left back, the new team of season objective, and then swap Fred and Jimenez. And then Jimenez is the only person on eight chemistry in the entire team uh, because the left back and left wing don't link on the 4 3 3 3. Therefore, you are getting uh you aren't you aren't getting this link here that's gonna put Reguli on or Douglas Costa off chemistry. Because uh, Douglas Costa has the strong link. The last two for the episode are going to be from Ollie Jr. Which is, hi, Haber. I play the same formation in game and I have no coins at the minute. The untradables are Kimmich, Rykard, Eggstein and Brandt. Love the vids and streams. Keep up the great work. Hey, appreciate it, man. So I'm guessing you're just here to flex your team, man. If you've got, if you've got no coins for upgrades, you're just, you're just sort of here to flex your team. All right, first things first, bro. Uh, if, you are, if you're playing the same as what you're starting, swap Mertens and, and Lozano. Lozano out here on four chemistry right now because he's got... The, the two red links and only one green link. Whereas uh, out on the right striker spot, Mertens will be on eight chemistry and at the left striker spot, uh, Lozano will be on seven chemistry. So I think that whilst you sacrifice two chemistry on, on Mertens, you actually gain three chemistry on Lozano just by switching them. So I would definitely do that first of all. Um, would I do anything else? Realistically, no. I think that it's a good team, obviously. Um, yeah, just... Like I said to the other guy, rewards, objectives, you know, um, see where it leads you, to be honest, uh, and, and see what kind of rabbit hole you go down. Uh, and, and you could definitely upgrade the team over time. Uh, the last one coming from Ojo. Uh, luckily, this foot trader there, anyway, he's already been in the episode. Uh, last one from Ojo, who says, uh, sorry, Ojo, OJ.MBB, who says, Herner and Schultz are, uh, sorry, are tradable. 44 in game. Striker, Herner, Lamson, Cam Laudrup, Ram Messi, uh, DM Zarkova, and Gattuso, 1K coins. I would say Messi Cam, Laudrup Ram, just based off uh, these two factors. So first of all, let's have a look at Laudrup's moments card. It has 90 pace, has more pace than Messi. Um, so I think would be a better suited at Ram. Uh, and I also think that Messi, in my opinion, uh, although I'm, I'm pretty sure Laudrup has technically better dribbling uh, on his face card, if I'm not mistaken. No, Messi still has better dribbling. Yeah, I'd say Messi definitely is Cam. Uh, I understand why you've got Messi to Ram for the cut in finesse shots, but Messi is just... Another beast at Cam. I, I honestly, he's fantastic. So I would definitely do that. Um, and I wouldn't really change anything else with this team. Obviously, you don't have coins to change it anyway. But I just wouldn't change anything else with this team right now. Anyway, I think it's a really, really good team. Obviously, rewards, upgrade packs, etc. Give it a go. See where it leads you. Thank you all for watching this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like down below if you do, if you guys enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.